Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is when little things count. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. Luke chapter 16 verse 10. Oftentimes we hardly reckon with small things. We do not see them as capable of making an impact. Little beginnings, little tasks, little steps, little drops, little contributions, little decisions, and so on are often despised. But this seems to be one of the greatest mistakes of the ages. Because of this mindset that little things don't count, you see that people don't want to build from small to big. They always wish for what is larger, what is grand. They don't want to associate with what is small. Young ministers out of the seminary want a mega church. Young graduates want to start with big salaries. The very idea of small beginnings is repulsed, especially in this age and time of internet fraud. But research is showing that consistency in taking small steps, consistency in taking small steps, yield astonishing results in the long run. James Clare, in his book that he actually uh, researched very well atomic habits has argued and shown that lasting changes come from the compound effect of hundreds of small decisions whether it is doing two push-ups a day waking up five minutes earlier reading just one more page these changes minute and minuscule as they uh, may seem can transform the quality of our lives for the better if we intentionally uh, become consistent with them. Their compound effect will surprise us. That is why in our text today, Jesus is talking about faithfulness in little things. Some people are waiting until they have enough to build a house and buy a car for their parents before they show their appreciation. But they can begin with whatever they have now before it's too late and before they get so used of not taking care of their parents. Only those who are faithful with little things will be entrusted with much, both here and in the hereafter. Jesus says, in the parable of the pounds to one of those who has traded well with the small money he was given. Quote, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over many cities. Unquote Luke 19 verse 17. We shall give account of every talent, time, opportunity, and means we have neglected and have not improved and imparted because we think it's too small, too obscure, and too irrelevant. The man who buried his pound because he felt it's too small was not celebrated, and what he had was taken from him. What changes do you need to make today in your life? What health changes? What changes in habits? Drinking enough water? Going to bed earlier? Keeping the house neater? Reading books? You can begin today. You don't have to begin in big ways. 
You don't have to do big things overnight. You don't need to begin by running a marathon. Begin small and be faithful. God's power will be available to strengthen you as you grow. This is the moment of power. Have a nice day in Jesus' name. Amen.